HP NV 13. KB Lake HD 620 is 13-inch i7-7500U. So, this is Big Sur, the release version. BCM 94-352-Z Wi-Fi and Bluetooth combo. So I finally got everything working with open core. What is working? Actually, everything is working in here. Bluetooth, handoff support, camera, there's no Ethernet, graphic display, full acceleration, supported metal, memory on this one is only 8 gig. So, NVMe, trim support, yes, Intel 10 series, huh? Storage. Big Sur. USB 3.0 with everything on it. Wi-Fi is on. Finalize this one. To get iMessage to work, I have to look for N E N zero. So this one is not E N one which is the airport okay so this airport is built in it has to be so if it's not EN0 what you need to do again for this one you need to go to library preference preferences system configuration you're going to remove Network interface, Wi Fi message, SMB, and the EN0 now become built in. So if it's built in, then I'm pretty sure that I can do the iMessage and everything else. Okay, the um, HDMI. So I use the USB C to HDMI. So now we're connected to Dell monitor, and you cannot adjust. Oh, yeah, you can, but you cannot really adjust the um, monitor. So, what about the sound? So sound you cannot adjust either because you use the Dell. Alright? So everything's working on this one. The important thing is that you do need the USB port patched correctly. It's called the UIAC from we have made. So now the internal for the hard drive is correct. So it's kind of good. So what is it important about open core? What is working? The backlight, the sound, control, Wi-Fi working, and Bluetooth working on the BCM. 94352Z. So this is the uh, Wi Fi right here. When you have the Wi Fi, then your Bluetooth automatically we have, will have the handoff support. And with the handoff support, you can airdrop so I want to airdrop accept save to download okay so now we open it up so that's the airdrop okay that's a failure right there 
94352Z working in Big Sur. I have the trackpad working. Okay. Now, the difference is that I don't use a trackpad from OpenCore. I use the trackpad, the original one, from Rehab Man. So this one is 1.9.2 for Rehab Man. But in order for this to work, you need a voodoo input.cax, which is 1.0.6. So I don't know where I got this one from. What do you need to set this one to work? So everything is in the kernel. So the first one you want on the kernel is you get Lilo. Lilo, the latest one, is 14.9. So the next one you want is virtual SMC. So make sure it's important it's that you have that. So the, the thing is this, with open core on the kernel, the sequencing of loading is important. Whatever green is the next one, is 14.4. So one more thing about the PNLF because a lot of time when you use the wrong PNLF you don't have the maximum brightness of the screen in the whatever green 14.4 you have the PNLF so you take that one is that I always rename them so I remember so you're gonna use PNLF 14.4 so the next one codec commander.kex okay but some of the sound, you don't need it for it to work. So if you couldn't get the sound to work, then you make this one is a no. All right? But this one works, that's fine. The next one is an Apple ALC 15.4, so the EFI folder. I'm explaining the EFI folder right now. If you cannot get these files into your EFI folder, you shouldn't be. Hackintoshing, okay? Next one is USB inject all that kex. So the version I use on Rehab Man is 0.06.5. Okay. So the sequencing had to be perfect. So this one does not have the internal Ethernet. So this one is no. This one is Voodoo input kex. You must have it in front of the PS2 controller kex, okay? So PS2 control of the CAC is 1.9.2 from Rehab Man. The next one you want is Voodoo Trackpad inside the Voodoo PS2 controller CAC. The next one is Voodoo Mouse, which is also inside the PS2 in your airport fix up CAC, right? All right, so airport injector is 2.11. So I renamed this one for the 360 alone. So if you use the DW1820, you use the original one. But this one is for 4360. You need to add right after this guy, 4360 to work, 94352Z. And the next one you want is Bluetooth injector and then Broadcom firmware data. Now, all of these version as 2.55, so make sure you get the latest one. Uh, the patch RAM 3 also is SMC battery management but This one will not show up if you use that one. So what you want to do is to say no and you need to add ac battery manager.cax to yes so this one is from rehab man is 1.814 so this one you need it for the battery to show up processor super io i don't turn it on okay it never worked and we have fix it, yes. RTC memory fix never works, so I don't use that. 
you need to enable this one for the internal hard drive to work. So you need min kernel is 20.0.1. So that is the most important thing for the kernel to get everything running. So ACPI, what do I need? So you need to patch your DSDT. So whatever you don't want, the enable just say no. The PNLF on this one, 144. If not, we won't get the full brightness. Is that you need the SSDT plug. This is for the power. DRT and IA and also make sure that is the latest one which is in the ACPI folder we get the XOSI and then we use it EC USBX just USBX and the final one you have to create the UIAC without this you will not have all the USB port working so you have to create your own I have a tutorial on how to create it you create it exactly correctly your sleep wake everything will be perfect so you're gonna hack you have to understand what you need to do it correctly that is important with ACPI device property in order for you to get full acceleration you need to set this one correctly platform ID. If you don't get it correctly, then you won't have. So in the properties, you should have two things. For the graphics and for your Wi-Fi. You don't need for the audio, believe it or not. The quirk. If you set it wrong, it won't boot. So, kernel. Look at the quirk. The quirk on this one is different. From the court on a Skylake. I couldn't boot if I use a Skylake one. So make sure that it's exactly the same. You see this one, the next one you want, miscellaneous boot. Okay, debug, security, the scans, security. I always put zero because I still don't understand you know all these number that they use so NVRAM now this is important you need to put BRCM FX dash driver equal to 2 for all the Broadcom Wi-Fi combo for the audio on this particular one which is the ALC 295 so for the 295 I have to use 77 so all you need is ALC ID 77. So all of these you know, mumbo jumbo over here, I don't really use them now. The UEFI, APFS, audio, I don't really care. Drivers. Okay, so you need all of these. So one, two, three, four. Input. So what do I have here? No. Five, two, yes auto no no okay no idea what these are doing but oh look at this so normally if it works don't add anything if you don't know I don't know so to me if it works don't fix it protocol override now this now again this is the one that's gonna break if you don't get it right UEFI the cork so what do I have yes no release user now this is scary a different system if you don't have this you can't boot you get stuck at a USB so for this one you need to be yes for other is no so you need the platform ID so the platform ID has to be correct so platform ID, you have to select this SM BIOS correctly. Then everything will boot. Data Hub, Platform NVRAM. You need this one. Make sure you have this. Generic SM BIOS. 
MacBook Pro 14.2 for the uh, KB Lake. If you want iMessage to work, make sure the serial number is not active on Apple website. It have to be unknown. That's it. Fucking fake.